All right, guys, my CGC pre-screen submission is finally back, and boy, am I excited. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my CGC pre-screen 9.8 submission. Before we do that, though, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that. So I submitted this pre-screen 9.8 back in November. I did the whole hack where you submit a uh, walkthrough and express book at the same time so it gets submitted earlier or in the system earlier. I submitted it with my Flash number 110, first appearance of Wally West that came back in just under three weeks in a 5.0. I'm super excited about that. That came back several months ago. Uh, this is finally back after about four and a half months. Um, and I will say, I did look at the grades, but I'm really unsure. I, I, I really don't remember, honestly, what all the books I submitted were or what books came back in 9.8. I think I did pretty good, though. There's one book that I'm really hoping came back in 9.8, but I'm unsure if it did. So while I go ahead and get this open, I want to go ahead and thank the sponsor of today's video, MySlabs.com. The platform designed by collectors for collectors just got even better. MySlabs.com is proud to now feature dedicated sections for both raw cards and raw comic books. Browse over 100,000 slab collectibles authenticated by the industry's most trusted grading companies. Then check out a massive selection of sealed wax and now raw singles and raw lots. Join a passionate, no-nonsense community of nearly 50,000 members and enjoy some of the best buyer and seller protection in the business. And as always, MySlabs offers one of the most disruptive pricing models in the hobby, with seller fees as low as only 1%. So the next time you're forced to pay 10%, 20%, or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com, the low-fee marketplace, by collectors, for collectors. Thank you again to MySlabs.com for sponsoring today's video. They sell a lot of graded sports cards and comics, and now they also sell raw comic books as well and the best part is their one percent sellers fees again thank you to myslabs.com for sponsoring today's video okay let's go ahead and get into these pre-screen books oh i'm super excited about it i will say I, I i think about half of the books will be for sale at some point i was thinking about doing a uh, mystery box but i think i'm actually probably going to do a claim live claim sale at some point so i'm not sure what the first book is Let's go ahead and get it out of the bag here and take a look. First book up. Ooh wee! This is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number one. This is the Nakayama um, Virgin variant. This was from, um, I got this from the 616comics.com channel sponsor of mine. And uh, ooh wee, I am excited. This looks awesome. This looks really awesome. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha, number one. I didn't say Alpha earlier. David Nakayama uh, Virgin Variants. I'm going to start putting them right in front of me on my desk right here. Next book up. I don't know what it is. Oh, baby. This is Nice House on the Lake, number one. This is a John Jang exclusive cover. This is the cover C. Man. This is amazing. Um, if you're not reading Nice House on the Lake, what are you doing? This book and series is amazing. And I, I got this from my buddy, Pandawson316, uh, for a really good price and thought it was a 9.8 candidate. So I submitted it to CGC, came back to 9.8. Definitely uh, going to be a PC book for sure. I think that Star Wars book is going to be for sale. Actually, I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure it will be. Okay, next book up, we have, oh, this is the uh, cover A. All right, pretty cool. Uh, nice House on the Lake, number one. Cover A, actually, I think this was, I don't know if I bought it or it was an A-OK -okay from Mark from Legion of Comics. I want to say it was an A-OK, -okay, though. Pretty cool, great series again. I love how the CGC books, like, stack together and stay together. That's pretty awesome. Okay, next book up, we have... Oh, yeah, this is Flash number 750, the Boss Logic cover. 
um, Planet Awesome Convention Edition. Uh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Now, I got two of these A-OK -okay to me, one from Selwyn and one from uh, Panda Awesome 316. Um, and I went ahead and I gave one also to my friend uh, Flash6792. Uh, he did not have one. He's a big Flash fan, obviously, as well. A little bit of scratching on there. Not terrible. Not, I'm not, nothing. I'm not going to send this back over. Just a little scratch. Oh, there's another one right there. Wait a second. Is that a hair? Yo. There is a hair in my book. I'm like 99% sure that is a hair. Let's see, it doesn't move. It's either a hair or it's like part of like that. That's, I mean, it's gotta be a hair, That's I think. Or like a hair from like the, you know how like, like I, I'm sure there's pictures I've thrown up by now. Uh, there are like the plastic where it's like really fine. That's what it kind of looks like, but also kind of looks like a white hair off of someone's head. <laughs> I am unsure what's going on there, but uh, that's weird. Uh, weird. Uh, Flash 750. Um, boss logic cover 9.8. That's a little frustrating. Just a little bit. It, not terrible. Like, I don't know if I'll send that back or not, but not super happy with it, but still an awesome cover for sure. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Oh, nice. Uh, Department of Truth number one. This is the one of 25 cover by N Hook Lee. I love me some N Hook Lee covers. Um, I bought. Um, the A cover, B cover, and the 1 in 25 from my friend uh, Michael Tulp uh, in a set on a uh, auction one time. And I uh, submitted them all to CGC. And I was worried it might come back. It might not hit a 9.8, but it did. And this is pretty awesome. I'm unsure if I'm going to be selling any of the... Uh, after the last book, I might as well look at the whole case this time. Newton Rings, of course. Um, oh, this one's fine. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be selling any of those Department of Troops or not. Um, I think they're kind of some books to be stacking on for sure. So if that one's a Department of Truth, I'm assuming this one is as well. It's not. <laughs> uh, Nightwing 78. First appearance of Melinda um, Zuko, which is Nightwing's sister. Um, or Melinda Grayson. Um, I think I said that right. I didn't I'll put it on the screen <laughs> they did not notate it though um, a lot of the new books whenever it's a first appearance of, of a book that just came out they don't notate it um but I was I was pretty sure this was gonna hit a 9-8 um big Nightwing fan so pretty awesome sauce there lots of books left lots of lots of books left I apologize this is taking forever I'm talking about every single book and how awesome it is Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, this is Moon Knight number one. Um, this is the Terrific Con Virgin variant uh, from the 616comics.com. And I, I forgot who else who else was doing the cover. But it's a, it's a Ken Lashley cover. Obviously a Werewolf by Night number 32 homage. I submitted uh, two covers of this. That is the Virgin. I think I'm going to be probably selling that one. I like the trade dress a little bit more. And I did submit the trade dress. Is this it? It is. All right, here's the trade dress version. Moon Knight number one. Um, again, Terrific Kong exclusive variant from the 616 and some other ones as well. I think they, I forgot who else they worked with. But again, Warmer by Night number 32, homage, Ken Lashley cover. I don't think any of these came back to 9.9. .9. Um, I really wish I did, but I don't think it did. Never had a 9.9 .9 in my collection, actually. Maybe, maybe one day I will. Maybe one day. Okay, I am excited about these. You guys are not going to care whatsoever, but you know what? Uh, if you know me, you know why I like these. Okay, so I had the... Uh, I'm just going to go check. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. There's some more Power Rangers coming up. This is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 17. Uh, this is the 1 at 50 um, foil edition, the Morpher edition, I should say. 
uh, by Miguel Mercado. Pretty, pretty sick. I got this one from a comic shop in Kansas City, and I wasn't sure that was going to hit a 9.8 as well, but I just submitted it. It was on like the 9.6, line. Give me a 9.8, uh, so I'm happy about that. Big Power Rangers fan. Oh, there's a big old knitting ring right in the middle. Right in the middle. Come on, man. Oh, boy. I'm excited about this one. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, TMNT, number one, second print, one per store. Um, the Draken helmet here being held by Shredder. Um, this is awesome. Um, really, really, really awesome. Yeah, I had this one for a while, and I had the Green Ranger cover as well, the second print, one of ten. Uh, now I think all I'm missing is the one per store for the first printing with the just a regular White Ranger helmets. So that's pretty cool. I think there's going to be lots of Power Rangers coming up. I will say there are non-Power Ranger books still left in here. I just don't remember what they all are. Another some more Department of Truth coming up, I think. Um, this is not it. This book I was planning on selling, but I think I'm actually going to keep it uh, for some spec purposes. This is... Star Wars, The High Republic, number one, the Stephanie Hans uh, cover, 9.8. I got this from my LCS uh, on release day uh, for cover price, so. Pretty cool. Oh, man. It's a big old scratch on there. It's a big old scratch on the cover there. Man. That's frustrating. That is frustrating. Second book to have a little bit of an issue, but I guess if you submit that many, uh, at some point there's going to be some issues. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't affect the book or the grade. It's just presentation, right? We're all about presentation. Okay. I don't know what this one is. Let's see the back. Oh, uh, Spider-Man number 50. This is the uh, Mike Mayhew uh, variant of Spider-Gwen. KRS Comics exclusive and Black Flag as well. Pretty cool. It's like, man, like all of these have like a scratch all in the same place. It's like the top left of the uh, case. Not a huge deal. Just wish, again, I wish it wasn't there. So, ASM 50. I'll probably be selling that one. I do like Spider Gwen, um, but I'll probably be selling that one. Okay. All right, I think we're like halfway through. I think we're like halfway through. Let me see if I can move this. Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. What's, what's happening? What's the next one? Then? Okay, here we go. There are some Power Ranger books coming up. All right, so I have, I, I submitted an entire round of these. Um, this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number zero, the Red Ranger cover. Um, I already have the green and white ranger, the one at 50 and one at 100 and a 9.8. And I submitted all the other colored rangers. Um, so I have the main five that I submitted in this submission uh, to go along with my uh, green and white that I already have. So let's see. Let's see what the other ones come back. I don't know. Got to inspect like all of these now. Okay, this is another Department of Truth. This is Department of Truth number one, uh, the cover A. Pretty sweet. Okay. Department of Truth number one, this is the uh, B cover. I think this is a cover by Jenny Frizen. Again, another one of these cases with like a scratch, like diagonal on the top right. I just don't get it. Like... It's weird. Why are they all like this one? Like goes through like the little foil thing on the top right. That is frustrating. That is frustrating. Okay. Uh oh, Batman issue number one hundred, the one of twenty-five. Pretty sweet. This was an AOK -okay from uh, Panda Awesome three one six. And that's like the third time I've said that. Thank you, Panda. You are amazing, bro. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I remember when everyone's thinking this is could, this is going to be his new suit. This is actually just like a dream suit. So, Jimenez cover, Batman 100. 
the stack is getting pretty big. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, this is cool. Um, this will be for sale because I have the uh, Road Tour exclusive, but this is Venom issue 200 or 35. Uh, Clayton Crane, trade dress version, 9.8 from Black Flag. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. There again, there's just a little bit of a scuff on the top right. Um, it's a pretty sick cover, pretty sick cover, but I got the purple one uh, in an infinity, so I don't really need this one. That will be for sale for sure. Okay. Okay, I got some more Power Rangers coming here. Issue zero, the Pink Ranger. No issue on this slab whatsoever. Issue zero, the Yellow Ranger. Pretty sweet. All came back 9.8. Three for three, I think, at this point. Issue zero, the Blue Ranger. Pretty cool. Four for four. There's only just a handful left here. Man, they didn't even put this, they didn't even put my raw books in a uh, Gemini. That's a little frustrating. That is pretty frustrating. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see, let's, they're falling down. Okay, oh, this is a really cool cover. This is a really cool cover, man. Like, if I'm just going to buy a book off of the cover, it's going to be this one. Um, this is Department of Truth, number 10. Um, this is the House of Secrets, number 92, cover homage. One-stop shop comics edition, Richard Luong cover. That is pretty sick. I got this at a uh, con last year for, like, a really good price. 9.8 all day. Pretty sweet. There are two books left. I think I'm going to move some stuff around just really quickly here because I just feel like I have a little too many books stacked up here. I'm just going to move some stuff just very quickly here. I'm gonna maybe I'll cut it. Okay, two books left. I'm going to try to get through this pretty quick because I know this is a long video already. Last one of these, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero, the Black Ranger cover. Now I have the original five plus a Green Ranger and White Ranger. I also have the uh, Black Ranger with the Dragon Shield from issue five, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that was uh, given to me by my buddy Carlito Classico. Um, so I'm only just like a handful away from having all the helmet variants. Obviously I got two here as well, I, or one here. I got the uh, Team NT Power Rangers second print. And I already have the Green Ranger second print one of 10. Now I just need the regular that and then the Comics Pro Edition for issue zero. If you're a Power Rangers fan, you know what I'm talking about. All right, this is the last book here in the uh, books that I got graded. There are two books left. Doesn't look like I got the book graded in 9.8 that I really wanted it to, uh, but that's okay. This is Something is Killing the Children, issue number one, the eighth printing. Um, I think this is the one where you had to buy like a couple other boom books, like Berserker one and two, to get this book. Um, 9.8. So, oh, uh, shout out to my presser as well, comic book underscore pressing and IG uh, for pressing all of these. I was unsure how many would hit a 9.8. I was hoping that they all would, obviously, uh, but he pressed them all for me before submitting to CGC for, for me. Thank you again to him, comic book underscore pressing and IG. Uh, you can check out his Instagram page in the description below. Okay, the two books that did not come back a 9.8. I'm going to say that book for last. This one, uh, I just love this cover. Um, and I think it's the bottom and top corners is probably why. Uh, beautiful cover. I love this. Uh, this is Batman issue 50, the Warren Lau exclusive variant, I think for KRS. I've been wanting to get this in a 9.8 for a couple years now. Um, it's not like worth it that much. It's just an amazing cover. Um, and it's just beautiful. And yeah, I've been wanting to get that 9.8. Uh, 
but the corners were just a little rubbed, so I think they probably would have given it a 9.6. This one, though, this one really hurts. Uh, this one, I was really hoping to come back a 9.8 because if it does, it is a uh, $600 book, and unfortunately it did not. And I think it's because the back, there are some there's some color rub. They probably knocked it down to like a 9.6. So... This is Batman 655, the Qbert variant first appearance of uh, Damian Wayne. So pretty cool. Uh, I really wish I would have came back in 9.8 and I'm definitely going to be resubmitting it. Uh, and if it comes back in 9.496, it's whatever. Uh, I still want it graded because uh, I love it. And obviously big DC fan, if anyone didn't know. Uh, so that is my submission today. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, my name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my unboxing today, which book is your favorite, all that and more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, go cats, cowabunga, and it's morphin' time.